This illustration shows a rig floor seen during an attempt to free a differentially stuck pipe, a situation that can quickly become hazardous if not controlled. Here's the breakdown. 1. Driller at control console. The driller is seen operating the control panel, monitoring hook load and torque readings. Both digital gauges show values reaching the red zone, indicating high overpull and torque, warning signs of excessive mechanical stress on the drill string and hoisting system. 2. Traveling block and overpull. The red upward arrows on the traveling block visually represent the applied overpull on the drill string as the driller attempts to free the pipe. This action introduces stored energy in the drill line and hoisting system, which can release suddenly if the pipe frees unexpectedly. 3. Crew positions and safety zones. One crew member in red coveralls is standing too close to the rotary area, which is marked in red, the hazard zone. Another crew member in green stands in a safe zone, away from potential line of fire areas. 4. Safety hazard. Labels, snapback hazard, warns that if the drill line or pipe tension suddenly releases, it can recoil with deadly force. Stored energy in drill line, highlights the risk of sudden release of mechanical energy when high overpull is applied. 5. Main safety message. The text, high overpull, mechanical hazard risk, reinforces the key hazard. Excessive tension and energy storage during freeing operations can result in serious injury or equipment damage if not properly controlled or if personnel are in unsafe zones. Safety takeaway. During stuck pipe freeing operations, only essential personnel should remain on the rig floor, safe zones must be clearly marked, and communication between the driller and floor crew is critical to prevent injury from stored energy release or snapback incidents.